happy Saturday, everybody. Um, I normally do my Ask a Painter shows on Friday. We had an, a week full of events, so we are here today at a very special place. It is Saturday. It is uh, 1 o'clock here in the afternoon. I'm sure it's just morning uh, back in Minnesota where I'm from. Um, this is the Ask a Painter show, um, and I am Nick Slavic. I'm the host of this show. I'm also the proprietor of the Nick Slavic Painting and Restoration House, uh, Painting and Restoration Company, hmm. and uh, I am here with my best friend, and he happens to also be my interpreter, Ronnie Carlos. Ronnie? So yeah, what, um, what, I'm Ronnie Carlos. I'm 36 years old, <laughs> and I'm Brazilian. I'm, I have 18 experience in painting and decorating, and I work for the National Service for Industrial Apprenticeship here in Brazil. We call it a Senai. That's so it. Sinai is, uh, is something that we're going to be talking about quite a bit here today. Um, and Sinai is the name of your national trade school. National um, trade school. What does Sinai look like? How many locations? Uh, when we talk about uh, just Sao Paulo, we're talking about 9 to 5. And just in Sao Paulo? Just in Sao Paulo, 9 to 5 fixed units. Plus, and, these, and these are big complexes. Big this complex, isn't, like this like, isn't a classroom. Absolutely. This is a compound. That's it. That's like you were in in Sois Paulista and Tatuapé. Yep. We're talking about ninety five of those. Of course, there's there's some smaller and bigger ones, mm -hmm. but ninety five fixed ones. And then we have those mobile units that you said those big trucks. Then we set the whole thing and then bring to the people that there's no access to fixed units. So remind me, we're going to get into Sinai because Sinai has touched me in a very special way right. and uh, I definitely want to talk about it later. But uh, I want to give you guys as much information as I can. We could talk forever about this, but first I want to basically describe what the hell I'm doing here, <laughs> why I'm here and what we did. So uh, I am in Brazil and this has been a week long tour of uh, gatherings, teachings, discussions, cultural exchanges. and. The reason Ronnie is here is not only can he speak English, which he has been the most valuable tool I've ever had in my possession, especially in Brazil. He is an awesome guy. He understands painters. He's a painter himself, and he also speaks awesome English. He's an outgoing guy, which I am not, and he's also super funny. So he, whatever I say, it goes through him, and then it gets even better when it comes out. He's like a he's a he's a machine. You pass it through, and it gets refined on its way out. So uh, the, the the long running joke we've had this week is I speak for thirty seconds, you speak for eight minutes. We call it a contextualized material. <laughs> he, he says he's contextualizing. So yeah, but he's doing a good job because I see the people's faces after oh, I talk, it's and it's and I absolutely understand it. So okay, let's see if we can recount what we did so uh, it is Saturday now I've been here for a week mm -hmm. I flew in uh, I believe it was last Friday I left for the airport uh, I flew to Atlanta and then I took an all-night flight I think it was like a nine or ten hour flight to Sao Paulo and then uh, at the airport um, you Marcelo and Etienne Etienne Marcelo and Etienne are, uh, are people who live in Lensois Polista. It's a town about three and a half hours away where Ronnie lives as well. Least, yeah. And uh, they have a school, a Sinai school there. And, and Ronnie teaches there. Uh, he's a professor there. Uh, he does uh, painting, decorative painting, industrial yeah, and, painting. And, and plastering stuff as well. Plastering. So. He does amazing, I mean, marbling and all this other stuff. I'm like a war machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, Marcelo uh, and his uh, and his girlfriend Etienne uh, got up at three or four in the morning to come get me from the airport. Yeah. Uh, Marcelo is a welding instructor at Sinai. Welding instructor, yeah. And this has been if 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 I could describe this week in any way, it's been a week of surprises. Oh, yeah. It's it's been one surprise after another, and I I I I think this is the Brazilian way. I don't know. I shouldn't probably I shouldn't probably assume that all of Brazil does this, but basically. Everybody, you and everybody else, was like, Nick, just come hang out, and we're just going to take you around and do stuff. And it's going to be 10 surprises a day. And me being the person I am is like, you give me a time, you give me a place, you give me a context, what to wear, what to say, what to do. Can I get there early to prepare? And you guys are like, ah, just, ah, just ugh, stop it. Stop it. Just stand here. And Feel the will, atmosphere. We'll <laughs> drag you like this, and then we go. And it's... Uh, it's it's invigorating for a guy like me to basically you know it's like when you're jumping out of the plane with your parachute it's like yeah. now none of this is up to me and you just have to trust that you've done, that everything is good but these guys have been awesome so again the biggest everything started with a surprise As he loves that to collect data scientific data so that's good to be and the I love thing. schedules and I love routines and I love being early and prepared as you know so um, the, it, everything started with with a surprise Marcelo and Etienne two people that probably have no business 
that's it, doing any of this. They shouldn't have any interest. They basically ruined their entire weekend to come get me at the airport, and they turned out to be the greatest people on earth. Yeah, that's it. Nick. And he showed me his classroom uh, where he teaches young people how to weld. We spent many nights, two to three wow, nights with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we went to, uh, or maybe we won't get into that right away, but um, he is building a home from scratch with Ed Yen, and it is beautiful. He gave me a tour up here. It's a completely masonry built structure, which is very foreign to us. Uh, he's had he has this monstrous handmade brick barbecue outside right next to an in-ground pool in an open courtyard and there's open windows from the kitchen and it is the most tropical beautiful place ever half done maybe a little more than half done and uh, I promised to come back sometime when it was done uh, yeah, you to must. come see it so um, so yes we drove to Lensois Palista mm -hmm. which is probably at least three and a half hours away and we started uh, I kind of settled into the hotel there and uh, we basically uh, gave me a part of a day to sort of, you know, get into everything. Um, what else did we do the first, you know, we, we arrived there the first day. What did we do the first uh, day? Do you yeah, remember? Saturday. Well, was... And then we went to the restaurant and had your, your very first meal. Do you remember that? We were in the restaurant and you got oh, the heat. Golden. From golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. You go, we were talking about the, the weather when, when you were in Minnesota. Yeah. It was minus three. And then you got the, that, that heat in you through your face. Absolutely. That, that's the time for for the big deal in Brazil, so it was, yep. was funny. That was so funny immediately situation. we went to a, a, a restaurant and uh, the first thing they have there is a, a big thing of cachaça. And yeah. before you get in line for your food, you take a little shot of cachaça. And That's cachaça it. is probably <laughs> the most popular liquor. It, here it's made from sugar cane. Uh, it's probably like a rum, but it's got more heat and spice. Yeah. So, And there's some Brazilian say, translate that to me, so I'm going to explain that the, the whole thing has to be in English. So if I, if yeah, you, yeah, go ahead. Just go tell ahead. them that yep. there's loads of them. Pessoal, seguinte. É, sei que tem muita gente querendo saber, mas é, é o programa dele, e aí assim, ele tá pegando a maioria das pessoas de fora lá. Depois se eu puder ter oportunidade, eu falo tudo pra vocês, ó, vocês que estão assistindo aí do fundo do coração, Estênio, todos os meninos aí, Renato Sá, todo mundo. É que é incrível esse momento, realmente, a gente poder dividir com ele, né? E aí vou deixar ele falar, porque ele tá explicando, na verdade, toda a semana de tudo que aconteceu com ele até o dia de agora, beleza? Beijo no coração pra vocês, ó. So, Ronnie basically said, uh, we've done this all week, mm -hmm. where we're, we're back and forth, we're talking, and, and I just asked him for this Ask a Painter thing. For, for the American sake, let's just try to do as much English as we can so <laughs> people don't it. tune out. So, uh, yeah, so um, first day we went to the restaurant, uh, and, and I got my first taste of all the foods that everybody told me to try. So we had a little bit of uh, uh, feijoada, feijoada, which is awesome, yes. which is basically... It was on Sunday, yeah. It was a hard, hard work. Hard. It was Sunday or Saturday? You I had can't on remember. Saturday. No, you had on Saturday? I had then basically... Had a, we had, a, we, had a, we had a war preparation to get the feijoada on Sunday. Absolutely. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. So it was basically feijoada is, is kind of like rice and beans. Uh, it's, a, it's a bean stew and it's got some meat in it and it's, uh, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, it's, it's kind of like... Uh, in the south with uh, rice and beans uh, you get the uh, you get some sort of meat with some fat in it you stew it and it becomes delicious this stuff is different though it's good you, you know the story of it no the huh? feijoada no no I, I know a bit but it would be interesting when all those we say black people okay those Africans yeah. came to Brazil with yeah. all those boats um, colonians right uh -huh. they came through they have no food but they had pieces of meat or pork uh, all this okay. kind of pieces they threw all the things together with beans and they became the feijoada so it's that's that's the main story of that. So it's it became very so traditional, fresh. very so it came, it came from that. People say, yeah, yeah, that's, that's and, the, and that's the a, main part. And a through line through all this for anybody who knows me is I'm not interested in touristy kind of stuff. I basically told these guys, if you take me somewhere to eat, it better be homemade. It better be it, it better be something traditional. It better be something you guys would eat. I don't want to yeah. go to these places which are fake. And same thing with uh, people and places. I want I want the real thing, and if I can't get it from you guys, I'm not going to get it. So. Yeah, that, that's what I told him. He said, before you even come, we were talking about to show you, no, no nice things, but we are talking about to show you stories. Yep. So, true stories. It's true. People close, that, that's what he's got. At most, that one. That would be the main thing. Okay. So, we sort of settled in the first day, then Sunday. What, what did we do Sunday? Do you remember? Uh, we went to the school very early, yep. quite early. So you helped me out in the in the classroom. Yep. So I put you to work straight away. Do you remember that? I got I got working right away. <laughs> I put him to to work, which I'm with, happy to do. <laughs> yeah, we, we were uh, with friends of mine too, and then I was helping my wife to get the stuff done about the feijoada because she she was worried about that. That what that was that's a funny thing in Brazil. So we want to get to keep people together close to us, and my wife said, "Oh, we have three kids, so almost him, almost him," yeah. <laughs> and. 
I got the, the kids with me. We put my kids on, on the school, running away, so doing that. And I asked him to help us in the school because we, have, we had to, to get the things set for the feijoada and for the next Monday, that will be the, the, the main work link, with the main yep. work day. So we did that, and I asked him for help. He said, I'm ready for this. Yeah, please, please <laughs> put me, I can't stand here. It looked like, you know, I, I stick out here like a sore thumb, evidently, uh, even though, you know, there's a lot of people who look exactly like me. Yeah, but for some reason, I just scream American, <laughs> and I don't want to attract attention. So if I work, I seem to blend in a little better. So, um, so was it Sunday night that we went to Everson's house? For the barbecue that's or it that's it yeah 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 so we, we did one of it's hard to even say favorite experience because every time i had an experience here was my favorite and oh, then yeah. three hours later that's it. it would become my next favorite experience and one of the best times i had and i couldn't have planned this any better i couldn't even have known to ask for this but everson uh the person it wasn't was, in the plan it wasn't in the plan oh no, no we set this up just in the, in the beginning <laughs> of the afternoon I said we do this, that, that. No, that's better. That this, that that. That that. He asked me for plans. Said there's no plan. Wait for that. <laughs> Which is insanely hard for me to operate <laughs> under. So, um, Everson is the director of Sinai Lenswise yeah. Callista, and he is, he is a master. He's I mean, the main he man. He is yeah. the kindest guy on earth. He has a brain that is so sharp, and he cares about those young students so much. Um, and he's the kind of person that we used to say that there must be no heart for that. Yeah. But he, he's got a feeling that. Knowing people is a way better to get benefits of the whole company and the institution itself. Yeah. So he's a way that a thousand years forward from us. Like. So amazingly, we went to his house and he has a magical house. Oh. It's like what we think of uh, dreams on, place to on, live. Uh, yeah. on Southern California or the uh, um, uh, Florida coast. It's this beautiful concrete building. And everybody here has some sort of outdoor barbecue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Churrasco? Churrasco? Churrasco. 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 So, Churrasco is basically my favorite thing on earth. Yeah. It's Brazilian barbecue. But Brazilian barbecue. And it's, Genuine. And it's monstrous hunks of meat, chicken hearts, things, and it's simple. It's it's just lots of meat and lots of salt and people knowing what they're doing, That's cooking it. over wood, yeah. and it's amazing. So, what I've seen now is they have these amazing like indoor outdoor barbecues but like real wood pits to cook food in their houses and a lot of these spill out into open courtyards with beautiful walls and uh, um, landscaping and they're all open they're all it's open just, yeah it's, yeah it's free the, the weather is it's absolutely amazing and in brazil it's, most, it's, most it's, of the time so 76 every day and, yeah, and yeah. breezy <laughs> and the doors on his house are open the back courtyard is open and this breeze flows through and you're eating this Oh, uh, so Everson kind of hosted the party. He did some cooking. Daniel, Daniel, yeah, Daniel yeah. is is another big shot at. Let's he's about big Ballista. shot. But yeah. he's, a, he's, a, he's a great cooker. Absolutely Again, amazing. The cooker. first thing everybody said is all these people from this trade school showed up, and everybody was like, "This guy's the master." This guy's the master. Shosko. That's it. Yeah. And he's just like he knows what he's doing, and that is absolutely true. And it was. I, it's everything that you thought it would be, and uh, yeah, it was it was just an amazing night. Everybody had families there. I got and to meet everybody. I it. got I got introduced to Truco, uh, Brazilian Truco, card yeah, game. Yeah, and, card uh, game. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I've discovered that I'm a master at it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and and actually, the main mean of that and that meeting was about to get people close together to to share our stories, and we got it. That that was the main feeling for that. So to get so, people together. Daryl Bauer, Yaksemash. That's how we say how are you in Czechoslovakia. Yaksemash. <laughs> oh, oh, Yaksemash. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Ronnie. Dobsha. Dobsha. Yaksemash. Dobsha. So I know that. Ronnie. When I was in Ireland. Oh. Ronnie is a world traveler. So he <laughs> used to work in Ireland. Right? Ireland, yeah. And then you. I knew you, people from all over yeah, the world. Yeah. So Ronnie, Ronnie's been all over the world doing this sort of thing. He is. Uh, he is much more worldly than I am. You know, this is my first trip to South America. Yaksemash. So. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I remember and, uh, that whole story's coming through. <laughs> so that night with the barbecue, I thought, well. Well, rest of the week goes downhill from here. Oh, I mean, how's this gonna, I mean, this is it. I, I didn't well realize home. what was I going on well from now on. And we, <laughs> we didn't even do anything formal yet. Like, I just flown in, and all yeah. we're doing is walking around eating barbecue and feijoada. That's and, it, yeah. And just was. meeting people and doing fun stuff. And then Monday was the first day where I actually had to do some real work. Really? And uh, so what did we... Okay, so... Monday we, morning? Yep, we got uh, some we got some things set up Monday morning, right? Uh, uh, well, we were rushing away. Yeah. It was yeah. crazy in the morning because we had to do loads of things. Not because we didn't have a program or chronogram for that, but we had, we, we, had, we had only one only one Monday morning to, to set up this stuff yep. that would be the, allowed the things to do. So we got Greco, we got Souvenir, and so and we should say Greco from my home, mm -hmm. 
big paint sprayer manufacturer. They have the uh, Brazilian arm and the South American arm down here That's it. that wanted to do some um, airless demonstrations. Uh, the airless tools are, are available, but they're very difficult for painters to get down here. So it's really a novelty for, for painters to have a big airless sprayer down here. And a lot of people haven't been introduced to it yet. So there's spray demonstrations. Yes. So, so Renato Sá, remember he's about a hundred stores in Brazil yes. about painting and spray. Absolutely. He yep. started from nothing. He's telling something uh, very special too. I would like to say that. He oh, said, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, look. Renato Sá. We gotta go, oops, sorry. Yeah, there he is. So I, I would like to say just Five, oh, one of, the, one of the best people I met while I was here. Too. Yeah, Renato Sá is that high, like, <laughs> like a giant man. So, Renato, a few words for No, go ahead. Me? No, please, go yeah. ahead. So, Renato, obrigado, cara. Obrigado pela, pela sua confiança, viu? Você, ó, eu brinco assim pra você, você tá aqui, ó, no nosso coração. Fiquei muito feliz de conhecer você, principalmente pela questão da parceria e de você acreditar nesse sonho do profissional brasileiro. Agradecer novamente aí quem está assistindo, o Senai, o Agraco, o grupo Gadep, principalmente, que foi de onde nasceu isso daqui, tá? Isso daqui, gente, é só o começo, tá bom? Muito obrigado do fundo do coração. Bom, o show é, é todo em inglês, né? Mas de vez em quando ele me deixa falar um pouquinho, ó, pra vocês aqui, ó. Isso é só o começo. That's it. Renato, muito obrigado. É, the, everything. I mean, what, what do you even say? Just please, understand, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, so. É isso aí, Renato. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so uh, we morning. got ready for some airless demonstrations. I brought my painting clothes. That's and it, yeah. and uh, people wanted me to do some spray demonstrations, explain how I use it. We did that. I brought a bunch of my tools. Now that I'm here and now that my tools are dispersed, I can say that I smuggled in uh, about $600 worth of American tools mm -hmm. and I distributed them to <laughs> my favorite people here. And uh, all of my favorite things, to me. Didn't say that to all me. of my favorite things are now <laughs> in Brazil, and I'm waiting to hear what my peers, the professional painters who are most like me in Brazil, think about my tools. I'm hoping they aren't like, oh man, I thought this American stuff was supposed to be good. No, this is up, uh, you have no idea what it means for us. So I'm hoping to get feedback on that stuff. So uh, yes, uh, I think I can safely say that now. I probably won't go to Brazilian jail, but uh, yeah, it, they're out and about. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to hear back. And uh, yeah, so we, we showed some American tools, we did some spraying, we talked in depth about paint, and then uh, <coughs> we, had, uh, we had a short little break around dinner time, and then we had our first lecture. Lecture, yeah. yeah actually, between the, the, the afternoon, you got the, those all warm students getting through you, uh, talking about that. That's yes, very important to yes. remember about that. So because they were expecting so much, even before the lecture. So all those people together, and uh, we, ha we call it a uh, ETEC, it's a technical school too, but it belongs straight to the government. So yep. it's free, you have to do a, like a, a proof, a proof man, like, yep. like doing all those things to get this through. And they were there in the afternoon, so they loved it that. It's important for you to say, but I didn't even tell them at that time. So, so it's a, was I, amazing. I probably for them. should say that right now, Sinai <coughs> is, um, I, am, I am involved with some groups in Minnesota where we're trying to get, um, you know, uh, uh, secondary education, technical schools, we have them all, but we feel like we need either more or better or improved or different, something like that. I'm on a, I'm on a couple committees that is trying to do that in my local area. The PDCA, the Painting and Decorating Contractors of America, uh, especially for uh, bringing me this show and, and sponsoring all of this. They are in depth with creating standards and then partnering with technical schools, hopefully in the next bunch of years here, so that we can train a bunch of painters. And um, in America, we sort of, um, we sort of assume that we're the best at everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just sort of, you know, music, TV, That you just grow up with, with this kind of yeah, feeling. everything yeah, is yeah. made for us. So we always assume, like, oh, well, of course, you know. <laughs> it's, we, we have a very myopic way of seeing the world mm, where we only yeah. think of ourselves. I come down here to Sinai, and my, my brain was just blown. Um, whatever they... Because uh, you can touch it. Like, that, it's here. So it's, it's, it's impossible amazing. not to be here. And, like it's, it's, and it's not just like they're good people. Technically, these... You people are so more advanced with these schools, and the people are are so. It's it's to me like technical school is sort of a um, a lifeless. Thing. Uh. It's like we are going to teach you science, and you're going to make sure you do science, and then you're going to leave here and do more science. And what I got was that you guys have a human touch. Yeah, it, it, and I have a funny feeling about that because we really talk about you have everything, but at the same time it could be nothing because. There's so many things available for you. Yeah. So so many huge structures that you could get through and make the things hugely. I was talking about the Olympics, Winter Olympics. Yeah. So you're huge about everything. And then we talk about so professional painter. There is no training. There is no specialized training for schools yeah. a long time term. 
it, it, it's a scary even for me too. So which which I was really interested and in, uh, this whole trip was under the guise of Nick's coming and he's going to tell all about America and all about American painting and, huh. and for me that was like a a sneaky little way to get here yeah. and then gather all the information from the Brazilians to bring back because uh, I'm very interested in this stuff so the scientific paint, data. The painting <laughs> and, the, and the stuff was just sort of like my tool to pry the door open to get at your information it was kind of a sneaky yeah, way. diplomatic mission yeah so um, I will used, used to tell the, to the students in the, the lecture that you brought a barrel of knowledge and then you took a chip of knowledge yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was I, I feel at the end of this it was very um, if this was a trade deal, you guys got screwed. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I took so much more than I gave <laughs> you guys out of this thing. So uh, it's been amazing. So we had, um, we had. Uh, I so. should say quick before we move on, since we're talking about tonight. Not only is this place beautiful, clean, technically advanced, the people love mm. it. There are so many young women, young men, everybody involved with this. They're all happy. They're all good. The government's helping out a little bit. Uh, Sinai is doing a lot of good work. They even get paid for that. The, it's the, amazing. The, it's amazing. Some of them, yeah. And um, what what really surprised me, like if that wasn't enough, you guys are building multi-million dollar semi-trailers that act as technology classrooms to take to people, that's to it. teach them. That's it. There's, there's one, there was one of those nanotechnologies. Yeah. We spent about three million on that to, to get to I got to, to tour return. everything from uh, the second they were delivered, in construction, almost finished, and yes, they. I saw a welding trailer where they had eight or ten welding boots with full safety things to pull the fumes, welding tables, uh, big LED TVs, classroom setups, whiteboards, and it's like an RV where the sides move out. Like yeah, that's, that. it, that's it. So yes, they have like, <coughs> they have, um, you know, like welding, but they have nanotechnology. You guys are taking nanotechnology trailers to people in the countryside. Bring, that's exactly the point. That's the point, Nick. It's amazing. So it, it's a feeling that we have. So the, the young people is the key of, of, of our society. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's why they, they work so hard because of it. So it's a, it's a huge amount of energy put in on that to make the things work. In, in, in I'm talking about just we're talking about just São Paulo, right? Yeah. So São Paulo, yeah. São Paulo is the <laughs> economic heart of Brazil. Everybody knows that. So mm -hmm. that all the big engines working here, but we 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 kind of uh, a model to the whole country. But there's many places like South Park of Brazil and, and Santa Catarina too. Yep. That they have huge technologies. But just we're talking about just we're talking about exactly. just São Paulo. In nationwide, we're talking about almost twenty thousand uh, professionals involved in Sinai. About yeah, I don't like know actually. People involved actually working with and in Sinai. That's it. That's, That's amazing. How many students do you think? If you had to put a number on it. Oh my. That would be difficult, but I'm talking about hundreds of thousands a year. Hundreds of thousands a year. A year, a year, yeah. Uh, and, and I should say, you guys also teach painters. I might be wrong, I might be wrong, I might be wrong. Well, that's okay, whatever you say is yeah, going to yeah, be right. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be right. But and you're representing the entire country of Brazil right yeah, now. That's so crazy. whatever you say, we're yeah, all going to yeah, assume yeah. that. <laughs> I remember that I read in, in some place that Brazil has formed professionals, about 55 million people in Brazil, since the very first beginning yeah. of that. So yep. we, we're talking about six to seven to six years of history. So, so seventy six years Sinai has seven been operating. Sinai has been operating. Yeah. And you say a thing that's very important to say now. Uh, I've read in a plate in a picture of his name is Roberto Roberto Simons, mm -hmm. one of mm -hmm. the main men who created Sinai in nineteen forty something. And uh, he said one of the main reasons for Sinai to be here is to make people be, uh, is to uh, how to say that. Is to create is to create a human being before the professional, because oh. when we see pre human being side, as do we use like human decent human beings? Do you see the connection? Yep. Oh, it's really scary, <laughs> because we say uh, the main thing, the main point of Senai, the fundamental thing about Senai, is to create human beings before professionals. It yeah. means the professional become a consequence. It's exactly. so deep because that's why I, I bring to my uh, classrooms. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So the professional, it's, it's it's obligated. I must understand about the process itself, surface preparation, whatever it would be. So when we taught about, when I taught people about both feelings, heart, ah, it, it's a, it's an amazing feeling. I, you felt that oh, by the yeah, very very deep find of your soul. Um, uh, as most people know, I'm not very outgoing. It would seem that way because I do this. <laughs> I one. found him. <laughs> but I, re I remember that. Uh, remember that it's usually just me and my camera. So, it, to be in a country where you don't speak the language, 
uh, and you don't know the people and you don't know the culture, to have somebody like Ronnie here who is outgoing and happy and uh, knows painting uh, is, is a great thing. And uh, one between one of these classes, uh, oh, Donnie. Yeah, Donnie is a painting contractor and an artist in Minneapolis, a good friend of mine. So he got the point, create well, a yeah. human being he, before the professional. We're on the same That's page for you, my that. friend. Yeah. That's for you. Donnie and I we are, must be in charge someday, like my friend. On that. So <laughs> on, on one of the days, I sat underneath a mahogany tree, a real mahogany tree. Right. I have mahogany doors on my house. Right. I've never seen a real mahogany tree, and I love that sort of thing. So to wow. see a real mahogany, I sat under this beautiful mahogany tree. You guys had a pond with koi in it, uh, fish there, and a group of like six or seven students came up. And we had a cultural exchange for 45 minutes. Wow. And we all exchanged phone numbers, and we've been texting and sending pictures over the last week. And uh, yeah, they're just super young, super happy people. And uh, yeah, you can motivated. tell. Motivated, motivated. And they're motivated. For the and and the, the, ah. the greatest thing is, is uh, if you could design a perfect person for Sanai, a student, they would be happy and they would be curious. And these people had that in abundance there, which was absolutely amazing. So, um, okay, so. So uh, we, got, we went to the lecture? We got to the lecture. So, in the, in, if, <coughs> how, how do you even describe what happened? So it's a big lecture hall, and they actually I, have a stage, and there's rows and rows of this beautiful I, seating. I'm gonna, and I'm going to tell a thing, visual. maybe who's going to be upset. Have you ever seen Nick Slavis cry? Oh. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. You've got a feeling that he had. He made, me, he made me one requirement, and I did that. So, and then he didn't expect that. The people's feeling is that running explain that but it would be better for me to understand it's about the whole thing because the lecture was about that was about a human connection right. we, 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 you were just about to say your professional things and then you asked me something you see how the things works without plan not much plan we're not we're not saying that plan is no good plan, plan is amazing but when we get the plan with the human touch with the human feeling yeah You've got the result, the scientific data, as you said. <laughs> I, I'm a man of as much science as I can muster. So <laughs> I, it, 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 I had to muster up all the strength I could to ask another human for something, right? especially in front of a crowd. And I asked you um, that I would do a very sneaky little live video where I was going to be on the stage, <laughs> the program was going to be started, Souvenil, the paint company who is uh, um, responsible for me here, and uh, Felipe, my handler, yeah. one of the most amazing humans ever. <laughs> We spent the entire week with him, and uh, he. Everybody was introduced. The the thanks and the hellos and everything were done, and the stage was set. You and I were on the stage, and I basically said, "I'm going to take a sneaky live video where it's just going to be you and me." Yeah. And it's like, hey, here we are in Brazil, and I got something really special to show you. And I was going to turn it around and have everybody be like, "Hey, you know, like one of that." And what happened? You know those misses and how yeah, do exactly. like those like, all the princesses, yeah, the princesses. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened? Ah, oh, would be better for you to explain, but I will. I will. Uh, and then I asked. I, 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 didn't I, I, I didn't tell him. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell him. But I said to Brazilian, I said, let's get the best feeling that Brazilian have to him, uh, to show the, ourselves who we are, not the kind of people that we would like to be. And then, when he turned around with the camera, the people who didn't say say like that said, wow! And then this guy clapping around, and saying he captured that energy. It looked like something came through his. Body. And then he said there was a smoke on the way. So yeah, the said, there must have been smoke in the room there because there was there was little smoke in my eyes. But but, but, but the, the feeling that he had was such an amazing feeling. The that volume, Brazilian feeling yeah. of that was such an amazing. The volume and the energy rattled my ears, and it was something that I didn't expect. And especially for me, for somebody who doesn't ask for things from people a lot, yeah. to have that happen is truly amazing. And uh, that set the stage for the entire week. What, we have 150 people? At least, oh, at least. And then we, 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 they started to scream. And then when, he, when they saw the Nick Slavic's face, they put it in full power. Said, yeah, wow! Yeah, it was almost like and a second wave. Crying yeah. And they said, with the claps, I, I can translate that and say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, thank you for everything. And it claps. It's such an amazing feeling. Ah, and amazing. It was so ah. surreal because... It's still today, I got my hair like happy. <laughs> they, made, they made shirts with a Brazilian flag on it and my That's name it. on it, yeah. and they handed them to people in the door, and everybody was like, oh yeah, this is going right on. That's it, So yeah. a, a crowd, way, a a crowd of people is screaming at you, and they're all wearing a shirt with your name on it. It is the most surreal thing. The power I've of ever our flag and the feeling that we had for hope 
that's the main feeling we have now. I could translate it in English to Portuguese. But it was amazing. So basically, the theme of this week is Nick's going to be dragged around and he's going to tell us about his life story and we're going to talk about painting in the United States, painting there. And I, pre I, I created this slideshow with some videos and some things to show everybody and uh, I would speak and then you would talk to the Brazilian people and then we would have preguntas That's and it. questions, questions. And, then, <laughs> and then we would, uh, oh, there's Steve. That's it, Steve. I told you that would be a, a, a barrier break and a notion division. Division, not division. I, I, I keep some, missing some words, so get used to it. <laughs> and Steve, uh, be prepared. Uh, we, we started talks about the uh, National Expo. Uh, we were discussing uh, government and visa logistics today, yeah. too. So uh, we're, we're going to see what we can do because these yeah. guys have been so kind to me here. I'm seeing if maybe we can't get some people over uh, to, to experience our painter's gathering. Uh -huh. And speaking of painter's gathering, you have something called Fe Tintas, which is the painter's fair. That's How many it. people are at your painter's fair, Ronnie? At least we had the smallest fair ever, right? We got about 2,000. No, no, actually, sorry, sorry about that. So, sorry about that. Uh, we had a meeting, big meeting, about CT Vesp, was the art desk, and uh, was the like, very few. Yeah. It wasn't fair, but it wasn't a painter's meeting. Mm -hmm. It was the last one. We got 2,000. And we did, we, 2000. Sao Paulo, we're talking about Sao Paulo. Few of those, they came from another yeah. state. But we're talking about Sao Paulo. We didn't have, we never had actually, a nationwide Brazilian Spain meeting, right? Just about Sao Paulo. Yep. Very few of them came over from other states. So what's interesting is that if that's not enough, you have something called FACON, which is construction fair, which is a whole bunch of painters plus whatever else. How many people are at a FACON? I don't remember the name, the, the number actually, but we told me about uh, 13,000 all over the, 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 the weekdays. At least, a at least, festival? About, no, no, 15,000, sure, 100% sure of it, at least. A festival of tradespeople where everybody loves what they do, they interact with each other, 15,000 tradespeople. At least, at least during the, those five days. It's amazing. It's, it's a four days, actually. You guys are more enthusiastic and you're more connected than us. Oh our goodness, our biggest amazing. gathering of painters might be 500, 500 people. Oh, my goodness. And our painters' chat rooms has 16,000. I, I, I would say it's a, it's a regional meeting. Yeah. All those men. Bert yoga. <laughs> and uh, one of, uh, and, and we'll get to the, uh, we'll get to Gadep. Uh, we'll explain that. We'll explain the uh, moderate, moderate chow, moderate chow, the, the moderators. The moderadores. Moderadores, yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll explain. Keep learning. Keep we'll learning. explain the importance of, of all that stuff later. But in the United States, we have some painters chat rooms with 16 or 17,000 people. <coughs> you guys have hundreds of thousands of painters connected on uh, that's it yeah and many groups like that many there's not groups. just one group. and, and, and actually we're talking about when we have the we talk the gadap group right uh we're talking about there's people from companies there's people from painters themselves uh, yep. architects some engineers all of those they are interested in painting and decorating trade now yeah. it, it's something that was so divided it's split up uh, from all of the, all of your stories histories Oh, we get the people together now. Sometimes they don't talk too much, but they're watching us all the time. That's the main thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we are together some by one way or another. So, uh, so let's go to our schedule. Yes, ah. lecture. Let's get back on there. Lecture was done, uh, and we must have went out that night and done something. Yes? No? Yeah, we did. Ah, yeah, we went to the a kind of pub. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They and took you to that, yeah. Was that among the uh, yeah, the, the, up the hill? Like remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So we had an absolute blast there. Um, anything major we forgot about Monday, oh, the first big day of, of that? Uh, Tuesday we actually went to uh, uh, Senai Tatua Tatuape. Tatuape, yes. Tatuape. You say Tatuape. It's Tatuape. We both have our accents, right? <laughs> so yes, we went to another Sinai campus. Oh, I think Tuesday. Sorry, Tuesday was the was the was the hardest day for us. Like we mean, we talk about a long wait time. And, hours. and when we say uh, these days, uh, I had to check in with my business every once in a while. So I was up fairly early most of these days. I think uh, Monday was my four in the morning day, where I had to sort of still try to keep up with some business, do some estimates. Um, uh, Tuesday, I think it was six. But basically, the days from about eight in the morning till about two in the morning. Where That's every it, every day there was there was stuff, there were surprises, there was a constant thing, and interactions. And uh, 
Yeah. Actually, yes, uh, no, Felipe was 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 the main man for us. Yeah, because absolutely. Because by the evening, uh, on the way back to to the hotel, we were like zombies, like zombies, that. And he yeah. was driving through for us to bring us here safe. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, I was making jokes with him about that, but he, he was a like a super super human being at that, that day. So we started, uh, we, we 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 traveled through uh, the countryside to Sao Paulo, right? Mm -hmm. From Lençóis Paulista to Sao Paulo. We, we went three we, and a half yeah, hours. Yep. We, we went straight through Senai Tatuapé. Yep. Uh, and then and we that's, started And that's to one of the main Senai campuses, right? That's, it, like yeah. that's I saw them building miniature masonry houses from start <coughs> to finish. Uh, they all the construction it, it, it's the, it's the main school about Sao Paulo. Yep. Is the, the center of, of construction and building industry is is an island, so Paulo. And and they and, have, sorry, Tatuapé. And they have a uh, painter's classroom there. I, the instructor was such a nice guy. An yeah. amazing person, runs his own painting company. Um, Newton, he, yeah. Yes, and, we have, and he has a classroom that's probably, no exaggeration, uh, 40 feet by 20, uh, 40 feet by 30 feet. Beautiful rows. He teaches decorative stuff. He teaches regular painting, tools, equipment, everything else. Absolutely amazing and uh, so professional. And uh, uh, yeah, to, again, to see all these happy young people there, like learning. I, I walked into a, um, I walked into a classroom where they had a whole bunch of uh, walls made out of masonry, and the students were practicing af here after the bricks go up on a house. Oh, outside, outside, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you guys have. Um, uh, you cast cement on there, and we would call it like a <coughs> scratch coat, and it's basically rough, and it's made so that stucco or concrete can adhere to it. I walked in there, and there was a young lady casting for the first time. They mix up mortar and water to where it's real slurry. They scoop out the sand, put it on a, uh, a hawk, I think hawk, it's called. Hawk, yep. kind of hawk, yep. a kind yep. of hawk. And then they take a trowel, and they cast it like that. And I'm watching her do this. Um, the instructor comes along the corner and says, first day. First day, yeah. Her first day, it's amazing. And she's cat, just this young lady learning how to do masonry in this school along with a whole bunch of other people. So it's uh, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, and, carpentry, uh, oh, all everything. Everything yeah, that, were, how, that, that, that school, is, it's, it's so amazing. It's, we, we call it the epicenter of, of earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, and we did. And um, then we, we went to the afternoon, so, so the same as Lane Soys Paulista. We had different. Uh, different kind of people too, those Africans too, that they belong to the government, yep. you could say about that too. Yeah, so we had uh, uh, Greco uh, Brazil. Demonstration yep. problem. And, yeah. and they, again, they, they brought along, they have uh, texture sprayers, they have airless sprayers, the handheld sprayers, and they would set up their tent and their spray areas, and we would all, uh, oh, Fernando. <laughs> Fernando, so, so make your profession as a truth. That's, love, that's. love Fernando. We spent a lot of time together this week, and I mm -hmm. love that guy. So, we did more airless demonstrations. We were teaching uh, young people, people that are not even painters. I would, I would not even most of the, themselves. Absolutely, most of the demonstrations that we did weren't for painters. They Do you remember were just what for that curious girl? people. Do you remember yeah. that, what the feeling that had? Yeah, it's amazing. So she got the feeling yeah. straight away. Yeah. Not the feeling, but the technique. People were. Um, oh, and, and the highlight of that day was. Uh, a group of like 15 South Africans yeah. came to Sinai in Brazil to learn about construction trades construction so they trade. can bring not only the knowledge of that but the knowledge of teaching construction exactly. trades back to South Africa. They, Their teacher came and got me and says, my people are so curious about this, would you please do this? And we spent half hour, 45 minutes, I told them a little about myself, a little about the equipment, and I answered all the questions. All of them got in there, and we actually did a bunch of spraying. Then I said, thank God I got some rest, because they both could, could speak English today, I got yeah, away. So, ah. so Ronnie's, Ronnie's tongue got a rest, and then, uh, yeah, all the South Africans spoke English, so I got a little break, too, yes. from, uh, from tr and then nine that was words a funny time. Portuguese. That was a funny time. Yeah, so, but it, again, it's like inspiring. Uh, women from South Africa, not yes. painters, are never going to be painters. They don't intend to be painters. They intend to be architects and uh, instructors, and they're curious. That's and they, they just want to know. They're so curious. Um, so, yeah, that was an absolute blast. Uh, we had some lunch. We Again, I must attract people. I must stand out like a sore thumb because... We attracted another young fellow oh, I did, who I did, just came yeah. up and just sat down. Hey, actually, actually, I let's did, speak. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, actually, I didn't take rest at that time because somebody, one of my bosses, asking me because I have a course about wallpapering for the next oh, week. So he called yeah. me to do the business too, the plans, and all the kind of stuff. I took two wallpapers. But you got a break it, from me. Isn't the back? Which is a help. big break. <laughs> oh, well, it was amazing. So you see, we work together, always thinking about something yep. different. That's that's so amazing. And then so, we went to the lecture. Wasn't yeah, it? then we had another lecture, and this one was awesome too. Uh, more painters. Uh, there was more of the painters. There was I more knew. painters. Yeah. Yep. And uh, the, it's getting concentrated as we go along. Uh, the first couple lectures and demonstrations uh, were mainly for just like curious people. That's and it. there were some painters thrown in there too. But uh, it, we got more and more painters as we gathered on as we got closer to uh, Sao Paulo. 
And uh, yeah, again, it was another great lecture. We got in heated questions oh, and we it talked about all. Oh. Exactly. What, what was about, that was what I was about to say, that there was loads of questions. Those of them were with hidden ones, but they were very nice because they were professionals too, and they get, they get key questions. That exactly. Yep. So I'm going to just plug this in. Is there anything else you want to talk about uh, Tuesday uh, before we um, move on? Tuesday? Uh, so we got, we got the lecture. Uh, yeah, that, we, that, that was the, the strongest day, the roughest day that we had. And the lecture uh, was funny because um, when we were at the very end of this, the people started talking to us, asking everything, every single thing about professionally saying they would like to, to absorb every single knowledge yep. that, that Nick Slavy would have. And they said to me, Ronnie, you know, there was an, that's a, a unique opportunity. So they found the key that we were about to, to tell them, to, to, to show them about Nick Slavic's project in Brazil. And then we have Joel. Joel. <laughs> right? Yes. Tell John them, George. Tell, 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 tell them about this, the, the, the way that he feels. Jo Joel is a, is a Brazilian painter and he was trying to get into the lecture. He got late, he got lost, and then he got into the school. And then when he got into the classroom, what he did? <laughs> he walked right into the middle of the lecture. I think he gave you a hug. He came up to me, and I got about eight kisses from eight him. Eight kisses from and, him. <laughs> and this is a guy that I, we've been following each other for a year or two, and he posts a lot of stuff. I post a lot of stuff. He's a super enthusiastic guy who loves his trade, and he's got the biggest heart I've ever seen in my yeah. life. And yeah, right in the middle of the a lecture, true feeling, a true I, feeling, I get true a lot feeling. of bristly beard kisses from a guy that I only know from the internet, and it was just, I that's guess, the it's time, That's the know what they mean, love each other. That's yeah, exactly, yeah, so, and uh, I, I, I just absolutely love it, and uh, it was such a good time, and again, um, what, what, I, what I was afraid of is that all we would talk about is the cool brushes I could get, yeah. or the cool sprayers, and it's like, we get over that real quick. People are curious, they take a look, they ask a question, then we get to life stories. That's and it. That's. I was very pleased that Joel. Everybody... That's it, Joel. Yeah, exactly. Joel. There we go. Yeah, and, uh, and John George. <laughs> John George. Yeah. John George was one of the nice punchy yep. barbs yep. like that. And yeah. I and I just love, and I love that people are interested in bettering themselves as humans by input from other people. They that's want to it. hear another story so that they can, um, so that they can learn from it. And it was. Uh, it, it's just amazing. I mean, everybody here wants. To do better and and want to create good things so badly, so yeah. badly, it's amazing. And, and actually, we had a good conversation. Do you remember about the, that heat discussion? He started about that Brazilian in the back, and he asked it because uh, Felipe took the word and he said he's uh, Felipe, uh, my, my uh, guy from Souvenir. Yeah, and he was talking about you. I said the way that he wants to say that it was a kind of conversation that we had at that moment. Uh, that the feeling that we have to take is to work hard and the kind of stuff that we were talking about all the time. But then he said, like, but how can we compare ourselves as American? How we can comp how can we compare ourselves as the American instructor? And then I took the word again, strongly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as I said, but but through the right way, motivated. That, that was the feeling that I had at the moment. And I said to the, I said to him, I said, but we are not talking about the structure. We talked about a self confidence. It's like get motivated from inside out yeah so we have we have all these problems Nick Slavic has all all these problems in America he had to solve his problems right he didn't ask for anybody to do that just he started to think about something to get away of this and make things work and get to moving on so and I told him I explained him through the right ways and he was unmoved because he didn't yeah. any other excuses right yeah and then he got the point through the right way motivated and said yeah that's it. And there's, I there's it. been, I think, two or three common themes throughout this week. And one thing that was reinforced is me is stop making excuses. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a common theme that I think the Brazilians took away and I took away. Um, and we'll, we'll probably get to some more themes. But uh, yeah, that was probably one of the big, that was one of the big takeaways is that we're our own worst enemies. And if we have a problem in business, most of us haven't tried hard enough to solve the problems that we can handle first before complaining about this boogeyman that, it, that it, it, it's that. easier to blame anything else than yeah. ourselves like, yeah uh, well fixing ourselves is the hardest part it's the hardest part yeah. Right? yeah absolutely so <laughs> should we call tuesday a day yeah and then it, it, it's over and then we went and to... again the 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 idea is um oh we actually we finished the lecture pretty pretty late remember very late. funny 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 was so excited with that say running keep moving keep moving yeah keep moving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and so 
we, we have to thank Vania too, Vania Kanesh, yes. oh, one, of the, main, yeah, one yeah. of the main yeah, persons yeah. of Senai, uh, Tatuapé. Mm -hmm. She worked a lot with us, as, as, as well as, as Newton, so it was amazing. And, and Christian, we're going to get to your answer. Christian is the person who wrote me the kindest words this morning. Uh, we're going to get to some of the differences in the trades, because I, I think I, ha I now have a super clear idea of what Brazilian painters are up against, what, what they have as benefits, what they have as uh, detriments to their businesses, and we're gonna get to that later, so. Uh. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, we won't get into that inside Brazilian joke between me and the rest of absolutely, everybody here. Absolutely, so. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, and, and how, how much time did we spend laughing? I mean, when we were talking, thirty percent, thirty percent of all interactions were tears running down our faces My because goodness. it's the funniest things we've ever heard. So, um, okay, so let's call Tuesday a day, and remember, these days are, you know, seven or eight in the morning till about two in the morning, uh, and yeah, deep, almost that, yeah. heated discussions every day, every day. everywhere we went. Everybody wanted to discuss, and and if somebody didn't stop us, we'd still be talking. That's I it. would still be talking in Lensois Palista. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, if, if I would say, if you get the things repeated, wasn't the lecture, but it wasn't the, very, the the same thing all the time. Because in the very first lecture, I, I, I've lost many many words from you. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah. the second one, I got better and better and better. We're getting now, good. I, I, I know you're started better than, better than yourself. <laughs> well, which, which is funny now is that. Uh, you know, if we if we were to do this lecture right now, I could basically just hit play on Ronnie, That's and it, then Ronnie so could take it away. It I, I think he does Shut a better up. job than I do <laughs> with this. So, uh, okay, so let's call Tuesday a day. That was it. Was well I, I after the, after the lecture. Was there anything that we came to the, the hotel and we tried to eat something? There was nothing to eat. <laughs> Remember that? Yep, yep. And I got uh, I got some sweets, and then we we just have a, a quick talk, and I went to stay straight to the to the. Today, so we're on to better. Wednesday. What did we do Wednesday? This is the big day where we first went to Souvenir, right? BASF. Oh, yeah, oh, we were in the headquarters yep. of Souvenir. So BASF, everybody knows as the big chemical company, they create chemistry. They're, they're a, a multinational, monstrous company. And uh, one of their subsidiaries is Souvenir. It's a paint company that is, is, is top of market in Brazil. They're known for being the best. That's it, uh, yeah. But you can, they also get them in Europe too, right? Uh, Souvenir is, is in Germany, Europe too? Germany, in Germany. Germany, yeah. yeah. So, because BASF is a German company, I believe, or at least yeah, they yeah, have Yeah, it's a German company, yeah. but they have like four, um, four different areas. Uh, so Souvenir is, is the paint, paint yeah. in the great area, right? And then they have agriculture, I think, yeah. and, and some other there. chemical, um, but oil is a kind of stuff yeah. like that, oil and gas, and the other ones I just don't remember. And so how all, a lot of this got started is uh, Ivan Barrigo and uh, Giuliano Alcantara, uh, two of the, the, the sort of voices and the, the heads of uh, what you would consider painters in Brazil, uh, contacted me a few years ago. We've been exchanging uh, things over the internet uh, for a while. Uh, we they, got Ronnie they need, involved. they need a translator. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. And, and, <laughs> and we needed a translator, and they came to Ronnie, and that's how I met Ronnie. So basically, the genesis of all this was Giuliano and Yvonne reaching yeah. out, you helping. Through the, and then through the GADEP group. Through, yeah. the, uh, through the GADEP, and uh, um, you three became my big three. I yeah. Mean, Giuliano and Yvonne are visionary people. Uh, they're sort of leading the cause here. Uh, you are super knowledgeable with it. You're the voice of the painter. You teach painting. Uh, you speak perfect English. And it was just like, you're a moderator too with the GDEP. Yeah, I, I do, yeah. And yeah. so maybe you should explain what GDEP is. No, actually, GDEP uh, started uh, with uh, uh, Giuliano's feeling uh, that there should be, there must be something special about the Brazilian professional painters. And then he created actually the MBPM, yep. right? We, we must get this. The, from and these the, are the, all painters groups. They're all painters Brazil. group yep. in Brazil. And then the, he just explained it up about MBPM, and then he created the GADEP group. It wasn't the GADEP group, it was just painter. painter. And GADEP is a series of letters, it's an acronym that stands for Brazilian words that mean yeah. betterment of the painter, uh, yeah, yeah. things well, like that. Well, I'll just try to remember, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a professional, helpful, group of professional painters, like yeah. something, something about it. Something I about think it. everybody understands the so, idea. Thank you. Painters banding together to do better. I like together. to contest light the things all the yeah. time, so <laughs> get this. And, and then, so this GADEP group, this it, is it one was of those created. groups with hundreds of thousands yeah, of Yeah, but actually, uh, even, uh, Giuliano said something very special to me. I said, Ronnie, I start to find painters all over Brazil and all over the world. And just yeah. inviting them, inviting, 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 inviting. So, and then he got a, a good amount of people. And then all everything else did happen the way that, you, that we see now. And which um, is interesting is because this is just Brazil, but the GADEP group and 
Universo de Pintora and, and just all these painters groups are the clearinghouse for the world's painters. You guys discuss the most, you're most forward thinking, you're most connected, you have the most people, and it attracts people like me. Mm -hmm. It attracts people from uh, from Asia, from Europe, from everywhere. That's it. This is the place where, like, yes, we, we it's have just people a from Angola. Group. We have people from. It's amazing. Uh, from ah, uh, there's many places like. But this is the place yeah. where the painters of the world come. This that's is a, this it. is a worldly that's community, it. and then that's how I was lucky enough to be made a moderator. I have, I have, I have friends, I have friends from, from Finland, Germany, oh. uh, England, Estonia, Lithuania. China, oh no, I didn't say China, there's a place of China that they have internet access or Facebook yeah, and loads yeah, of them, they don't. Yeah. But okay, so Taiwan, um, yeah. that, that I, I forget what we were talking about to get to there, but basically that was the genesis of all no, this. No, no, the genesis, because uh, when we met each other, so we were talking about well, Wednesday morning, yeah. And then we went to the to the oh, souvenirs. And, oh, yes, souvenirs. So yeah, souvenirs yeah. spurred this all on, because that's how we got involved, and you were basically the... Um, the spark that got this whole fire going. You did all the work to get here. You found Souvenil. Uh, yeah. Souvenil underwrited this entire <coughs> thing. We had we had Graco's involvement. We had Gadep's involvement. We had Sinai's involvement. But really, Souvenil was like no, it was the main sponsor. Yeah, right? I mean was that the, was, was they, the did, they did a lot of the, the heavy trustee. lifting. No, yeah. that absolutely. Uh, yeah. Actually, I asked Sinai with that at that time crazy idea, right? I, I talked to Everson and Danielle, Danielle first. Mm, so yep, Danielle, yep. I have something special on my heart. That was, that's what I felt at that time. So I, so I have something special on my heart about this and that, that. His name is Nick Slavic. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I think we must meet each other someday here in Brazil. That mm -hmm. was the, the saying that I said to him. He said, no, I think it's okay, but you know that we don't have this huge amount of money to get through this so we must we, you must find out which way a way to get to make this true and then I asked a person from fake Jintas yep right the in big September, painters fair. Yep. and I, I sent to them a huge email and telling about your story and mine and what we would be what we've done about and all the kind of material that we know uh, we didn't get through this we didn't we didn't make it through through that way because of the money and kind of mm -hmm. everything and then I went to Felipe and then Philippe, I have a crazy idea. I need crazy people to me, <laughs> close to me. He said, Ronnie, I don't have this amount of money or even politics power to say that, but I put you through a, a big meeting in a loud voice and through the phone. You have 30 seconds yeah. to tell them, you have 30 seconds to tell them and why is this important? So I said, okay, we took about 20, 25 days. And then he rang me a day, I was walking through the school. And then Ronnie, you have your 30 seconds now. And then I went through this. <gasps> Took my air, took my breath, and told everything uh, I could through the right way. And then they said there were people who believe that there were people wow. they don't, right? And and then it started to to, to happen. And, and then he he started to ask me things, things, saying I said, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but we got through this. So I got got support the structure, and then I called Graco, and then the idea just came out. And then I started to put all the things, and then. I said, I must set up a PowerPoint presentation. I'm a painter, <laughs> but I had to go through the, the computer to do these things, and I sent to them this. Felipe, I didn't know Felipe used that presentation to make them realize how big mm, it would be. Wow. But we didn't realize <laughs> how big it would be. I would have put more time into it you know if, what I, I mean? if I wanted all that, my God. <laughs> but we, we, we got non-believers to you, right? Yep. This is important to, to, to understand. Oh, of course, with every, with, every, with, every, um, with every big thing, there's gonna with be a big that, thing. Right? Yeah. But I. I do you remember when I said to you through the phone, I said, Nick, it's going to be huge. I said, yeah, okay. But you didn't realize. You like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm coming to Brazil. It's huge. Yeah, that's crazy for me, right? Huh? And you're like, no, 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 no. No, no, you have yeah, no idea you don't what you're talking about. You, yeah. You're not going to understand. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically, uh, Felipe, uh, our guy from Souvenir, um, he he is basically the link to the painter in Brazil. That's it. The paint company. Yeah. He's, he's the guy who's He's the there. only one between all those companies. It's amazing. Really? It's, it's amazing. And he's, he's another young guy like us. His, he is so passionate about what he does, and it's it's amazing. This whole week, he lives here. He left his family and stayed with us, close to us, uh, to sort of be. Um, he's our transporter. Guide, yeah. He's our facilitator. He everything we need is taken care of. Everything we need. I just had to stand here and be dragged around by the collar, and and I do this every once in a while. You then take that and do this. Mm -hmm. You line up everything. Felipe lines up everything, and it was just like. I'm just standing here just like a puppet, just 
when somebody says, Nick, we need you for something, done. Yeah, and, yeah. and everything was taken care of. That's everything it. was taken care that's of. That's it. And then we, on, on Wednesday, we spent the most part of the day on souvenirs talks, talks yep. yeah, with, with many people from many areas. And Loved meeting everybody at Sydney. The, the people I met there, a lot of the painters here in Brazil are worried that all oh, the paint companies don't care about us, you know, they're, they're not on our side. Uh, they're selling stuff to do it yourselfers, yeah. or or they're the big shots in the tower. And we're yeah, down yeah, here. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that is definitely not the case. Not at all. Not That's, at all. I mean, it, it it is way opposite of that. And and the people that I met are full of heart. Uh, they're full of soul. And our their only thing that they wanted to tell me with one goal. Yeah. Yeah. They have one goal. They have rebranded the company. Absolutely. That, have, that's crazy. That was have, crazy. Their only goal in life is to better the Brazilian painter and his life. Yeah, that's it. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And and that's not bullshit. No, no, yeah. That's not that's not a line that a company says because they want to sell more cans of No, soup not at all. Not I mean, at you all. Because they're that, leaders. Yeah, what you could tell that the the same heart that I felt at Sinai, I felt there with all those people. And they were the kindest people. And even yesterday, I ran into one of the main marketing people at Souvenir at another project. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh my God, you're here too. This is great. This, so, and we were genuinely happy to see each other because they're just good people. They're the, just good There's no people. acting on that. There's no, no acting. No, it's okay. amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And um, it reminds me a lot of the interactions I have with the American um, paint suppliers too. It's, it's, it's a change. Ten years ago, it was probably not like this. Yeah, absolutely. They were probably just making paint and saying, why the hell aren't people buying more paint? Just, and the, the paint manufacturers now, and I'm happy to see this in Brazil, are, they're so warm to the painter. They're so they, open. They, they turn it to the people's, uh, to the human side. Yeah. Uh, he said it, it was a faraway situation, right? Yeah. You're in the industry. Oh, they were separate. Paint. We're the paint people, you're the painters. Just please paint more. Oh, they, they, they were used to say, some of them, uh, not even from souvenirs, they said, if you get water and we, we, we just we just dye it, we just make it like with color and put it into the the, the, the bucket and sell it, we, we would sell it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. But now true. everything has changed. Everything yeah. has changed. They, they understand, especially souvenir, uh, what I'm saying, um, that they, now they have the time to, to get people together, get people close, especially the customers, especially the, the people themselves. And they know that their feeling make the huge change and understanding about the whole yeah. industry and feeling uh, as well about the situation that we are getting through now. Every single person I talk to at Souvenel, the young people on the marketing team, uh, the big directors of marketing there, they're all the same. They're so curious and they're so happy. And <coughs> you can tell like they have a mission and they understand that it involves people and they, they seek out the people first mm -hmm. and then business solutions later. Yeah. Uh, business is a consequence of a, having a good consequence, exactly. Yeah. And then by the end of uh, Wednesday, we found get that group. Yes. Remember? So <laughs> don't tell. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Yep. It was amazing. So painters, all the all the all the big shots, all the yeah, painters yeah. from Brazil. So. The, the main painters in Brazil, I think it's safe to say, are the moderators of GEDEP, which is why I explained what GEDEP and, is. And, and many of all other ones. They're basically yeah. the people who control the group. Not control, but like sort of traffic cop. Uh, the, 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 moderate. They, yeah. they, they moderate these groups of hundreds of thousands of painters and, and constantly you know try to keep the pettiness down and try to remind people that we're all in this together and we have a common goal to do better. That's it. And, and so they're sort of like the voices of the industry and one by one they started that's showing up yeah. and I knew every damn one of them when they and walked That's in. it, yeah. And I've known these people for years, I've been in the moderator group with them and it's just been the most amazing thing ever to actually see these people in person and they are... They reminded me of the PDCA. They're, they're a self-selecting group of the best professionals that you guys have to offer. Yeah, when I remember about that part, I remember actually when we were in, in the San Islands, actually the prior, the, the days before, uh, we, you got many gifts from heart of the professional oh, painters. Oh, all those car, all that carving, mention. the covering mold, the, that, that material is amazing. I have well. 70 pounds of gifts. <laughs> That's I have set handmade, uh, we have uh, Carving wood, liquors, yeah. cheese, desserts from people's home home states, home countries. A hand carved statue. statue. Somebody brought me a, a trophy that was handmade. 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 All this stuff handmade. We got. I got uh, t-shirt, well, soccer jerseys with my name on it. Official got, one. I don't have an official one. <laughs> a, a guy who owned some paint stores. Uh, not even owned them. He just managed with a couple your name written. 
with your name. And he was so happy to have everybody here because he wants the same thing we do. And one by one, I've been collecting up these these things all week, and I, I now have more than an entire suitcase. It's about a suitcase and a half. It's That's 70 it. pounds of things that people have given me. And uh, it's just been the most amazing thing ever. And every one of them, you know, a guy had his daughter uh, decorate, we didn't have her, she decorated a paintbrush in the Brazilian colors for me. That's it. So... So we went to Thursday, yeah. Thursday morning, and Thursday then we, morning. we went to the Souvenir Training Center, Excellence yes, Center. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, yeah. So what, what was the first thing we did that day? Uh, lots of discussions with groups of people, right? So everybody's we, curious. We were trying to, to set up the, the whole thing about the, ah, oh, no, we went to the laboratory. Yes. We went to oh, the, that's right, we got, to, we got to see the good stuff. So, yeah, yeah, then. And there was a couple products I was very interested in, and they actually showed me the science behind them, got to see the product, taste the product, smell the product, and... Yeah, understand it yeah, and, yeah. and it was a it was a really good thing so yeah, it was it was it was amazing especially the animal yeah yeah so what do we do after that and then we went to this is all a sort of, blank spot for yeah, me. yeah 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 <laughs> actually we went to the training center and then all the printers start to 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 arrive and then we were trying to set up the the lecture was <laughs> was a hard work at that day technology but, is by very the last minute thing, by the last yeah. minute we got screaming on, on the on the and this is and this is where um listen Everybody knows that I had a blast all week, yeah. but that day was special. That, I was surrounded by people who are my peers, professionals and voices of the industry, and that day was special. Absolutely. Was special. Uh, we got, we, got uh, we say applications in Brazil, but uh, paint applications? Yep. Yeah, we got paint applications. Uh, Ivan Burigo brought, brought all those nice paint brushes to make edges. Absolutely. And we got... Uh, to sprayers like with those fillers and yep. everything. Yep. Greco was there too to help Guillermo us with Neri, that material. The, the guy that I, the famous guy who does all the decorative stuff. I saw him practice his art practice. Too. Yeah, I, I, I got, got a to, picture of you. Very nice. It. but it, it gets lost yeah, okay right. good yeah. okay now we'll make it quick so sorry right, about yeah. that we've already been doing this an hour or so uh sorry cr uh, connection interruption here so um okay so where are we where are we at now um okay so this is the we're, group uh, um, you're talking about the glare and then yeah. yeah so this is these are my people yeah we're all pros and and uh every uh, this is this is very special to me because they're not just young curious students who will never be painters these are people who have devoted their life to absolutely this. that will be the main point it was a special thing and then uh, by the by the by the evening we got a, a very nice close conversation painter to painter from painter to painter in the hotel oh uh, you got to our oh, late 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 <laughs> every night every night you just get around and we discuss we discuss betterment we discuss people's personal stories how to make That's things it, better yeah. what what we should be doing and not doing and uh yeah it's really it's really an amazing thing so um got closer to the people's stories that i think that was the main yeah. thing because remember when you said because it's from professionals to professionals and uh, it's a closer feeling whenever you come from, wherever you come from, yeah. uh, was amazing. And then we went to Friday? Friday. Yesterday. I don't um, remember about Friday. Oh actually. boy, okay, uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, okay, give me 10 seconds. Okay, so Friday morning, uh, I think we had a little more free time in the morning to sort of get our stuff together. Oh, oh we, we went to the- uh, oh, we went um, to the project. The project, the yes, project. so we visited uh, the favela. The favela. The favela. We call it Chateau Dante. Yep, and then uh, there is a, a partnership with Souvenir and another company who is uh, working to take uh, favelas, which are very, very low income housing, uh, probably the lowest of the low here. And uh, they're basically we call we call them as D class. D class. Got yep. A, B, C, A plus yep. A, or we, they're D class, right? Yeah. So these people mainly live in unfinished houses. So they put up the blocks. There's nothing finished inside. Some of them don't have mo windows. Mo most, most of it, no. Yeah, and there's just some kitchens and some bathrooms cobbled together. And, That's it. Yeah. You know, kids sleeping on the floor, and and they this, they found this market. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, and this it's, company, it's amazing. It's amazing. This company comes along and basically partners with suppliers and not just any suppliers they go to the best suppliers the souvenirs and through and, the yeah. social way and at the same time a huge challenge because you make it worth it right because they have to work for us as so well. they basically have kits for houses That's they it. have kitchen kits bathroom kits bedroom kits and basically these people come to them and they use sketchup and they have these sort of um 
counselors in these, and they have a store set up on, on, on this little side street near the favela, and it's basically their showroom saying, listen, you live in a favela, we can help you. We're gonna we're gonna see what kind of money you're making. If you can make a little down payment, we'll have you do that. If you can't do that, all you're gonna do is make a monthly payment. That's it. And it's thirty we're or forty looking. installments. It's it's like fifty. It's the equivalent of like fifty heal, something like that. No, uh, it, it depends on the amount uh, on of the money. Uh, monthly, uh, they, they they make a study. But uh, they about they that. they structured it so basically, it, it's it, it it's a doable, completely exactly. doable for everybody. But they basically take these contractors and these things and say, for this amount of money. You give us a very short amount of time because they're very small and people still live there. You, they can't relocate. And they come in quickly. They have these kits. It's a science. They get them in, get these people going. And to say it changed people's lives is an understatement. Like, Yeah, they, uh, and they have goals. Oh, Be challenged. Look at this. For, yeah. Tabitha is my handler at this old house. Shared yeah. it to this old house page. Thank you for the update. Feels like I went on the trip with you. Ah, oh, thank you That's very much, huge. my friend. That thank you very huge. much, my friend. That's probably why we just We're going uh, to meet each other numbers, soon. So. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> Tabitha, thank you so much. And, and you know... Uh, she she's another very thoughtful person really? too at this old house and yeah she she feels the same way and has been commenting that's for you week so, see that's the Brazilian yeah, too thank, thank you thank you or as we say here muito obrigado muito obrigado <laughs> okay very much. so Friday was very special um, we yes we we did the tour there of the of the favela and sort of saw uh, how Souvenir was partnering with people yeah. uh, to do that uh, in the afternoon. and then we have we have that big round table with all the painters together. Which is huge. Oh, and I should say that... Uh, Professional the, cameras. The previous day, think, yeah. yeah, we did uh, uh, Papo de Pintor, which Papo is basically de, oh, man, the oh, painter's man. chat. And Yvonne Barrigo, uh, one it. of the most famous painters down Unmissable, here. Unmissable, yeah. Uh, he has... And, uh, uh, he has a show called Papa de Pintor, which is basically Ask a Painter in Brazil. Yeah, it would be something like that. Yeah, it's Paint, the painter's uh, chat. I would say painter's chat, painter's talk. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and I actually got I've done Papo de Pintor before with you. Yeah. When we've done remote. A few times. You've yeah. been in Brazil. I've been in the U.S. I actually got to do it not only with you live, with Yvonne live, all the moderators live, all, all the famous painters here all, in, in all Brazil. Together. So, uh, I'm going to pause spot. and take yeah. one second uh, for all the people who are watching uh, brand new from this old house here. Uh, I am Nick Slavic. I am an American house painter from Minnesota, and I am here in Brazil doing a tour, uh, uh, trying to learn about uh, trades education and the Brazilian painter. I'm very close with all my uh, Brazilian painters, and um, I've just uh, we're just completing a week long tour. Uh, where I'm giving uh, talks and lectures about perspective and learning about the Brazilian painter so I can bring a bunch of this back to the United States. We're all trying to change the trades right now, bring some dignity to it and some interest to it. And I, you could argue that these guys might be doing it better than the United States right now. At least you're doing it, uh, you have way more enthusiasm for it than us. Uh, we're approaching it very businesslike. Uh -huh. You guys have the hearts. And, you, yeah. and, and also, when you see your technical schools like Sinai, you could argue that you guys might have more of an infrastructure no, for, for doing it than we do too. <laughs> but I can tell you, I can even tell you some professionals or some people that they're a long time you as you said like fifty five year old professional painter in America and then they say uh Senai said mm. they say that that's just for English people see. That that's what uh, they say some yeah. of them. We have some resistance but we're changing because they know they're losing market. So when they change there's something on the pocket, right? And they say that there's something no good, right? And Milton, 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 Tos Milton one Tosky. The, Tosky, one of the one of the moderators, moderators there too. We spent a couple days together. Good that, guy. Okay, so let's not get it too off track. Uh, so thank you for everybody at this old house. Thank you, Tabitha, for sharing this. This means the world to me. In, yeah. in, in America, you know this old house. Absolutely. I, I I've watched this. it since I was a kid. Everything I know about quality has been from that. From I am from not that. a carpenter. I'm not Norm Abrams. I do not make furniture. But what I understand about quality came from that. Came from that. And I hope that I'm. I hope that I can be a good representative of that for painters, of what it means to love your job. So, wow. um, so yes, I know you know what a big deal it is, but again, a week of humbling surprises. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of them. That's so, one of them. So, uh, and then we, so we went to the Papua the Pintor on Thursday, and then on Friday, we, and they had, had they the, had full they had a satellite truck, uh, dual cameras set up, sound equipment, everything, which is insane. Uh, and then the same thing happened uh, Friday afternoon. We had all the moderators together, and we had an open discussion of, of a lot of. Uh, things that complicate our businesses, things we're looking forward to. Many questions, yeah, yeah. Lots of questions, and we sent it out live over Facebook. So all these videos, even the one where I show the crowd screaming, yeah. uh, they're all on Facebook and Instagram, so you can go check those out. All so story, after yeah. we got the big moderators together for the live thing, what did we do? On Friday? Yes. I think it was time for 
to rest. Yeah. We, we, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah I think we came back here. We came, we came back to the hotel. And then we we kept ourselves uh, t- talking. Uh, most of them, actually, most of them, they left straight away. After yes, that. most people had to get back to their real lives. Yeah. <laughs> they, aren't, they aren't on this crazy, uh, exotic world tour wow, in tropical yeah, yeah, yeah. countries. And, and these people have businesses to run and families to take care of. So kind of some people trickled in, some people trickled out long goodbyes, gifts exchanged, hugs and kisses and handshakes and pictures and loads I mean, of Oh yeah. my god. And, and in Minnesota, we're sort of famous for the long goodbye where if you start saying goodbye an hour and a half later, you're still kind of backing out the door <laughs> shaking hands, hugs and you're know, waving and and uh, yeah, you guys are the masters of that. You guys that's it. it. It was it was hard to part ways. I mean, it honestly was. Like you didn't want to leave. You just wanted to hang out. Yeah, that's so it. So you and I went back. I went back to my room and I hit the I hit the bed like a ton of bricks. Wow. That that morning, uh, the previous night, I had been up till uh, I think four, and we sat we sat down in the lobby, uh, me and a bunch of people. And you actually came back down a little bit too, and I Absolutely. think you might have went to bed later. But it was we sat there in these discussions, and every time we would sit down with these people, five hours would disappear. That's it, yeah. Every single time, straight away. And this without is without even without even feel at, that. We're yeah. not at a club downtown. We're sitting in a couple chairs. Yeah. At anywhere. And five hours just disappeared. And then I think by the by the last evening, and then there were just me, and Nick, uh, Lucas, yep. and Philip, and we Lucas, had a great Vitor conversation. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, of the greatest that's... human beings. Oh, also amazing. very much taller in real life than oh, I. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, and I think one of the amazing thing was the our stories just got together. That's yeah. so amazing. That's it's amazing. So I'll try to get through this here. Yeah, uh, right. This is this is difficult, but yeah, on. Um, we would sit there and have these long discussions and bond over mutual things. And last night was the culmination of it. Yeah. Uh, Felipe, you, me, and was a Peter. Crown. And uh, basically, we're all standing around. Uh, the conversation ended in tears. Having fun. In a lot the of middle fun. of the night. And, and then, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's an amazing thing. A time I won't forget. So, Yeah, yeah. We got, we got such a, an amazing feeling that time. And I do remember that when... When I remember that we were talking about Nick Slavic's life... And I was translating straight to my friends, and Lucas was just hearing about that, and he got a straight connection to this. And then it looks like we've been Nick's brother, Nick's brother's life. Nick said, uh, I was translating straight away that the things that he said. I said, Ronnie, just stop that. You're talking about my life. Yeah. You're talking about my story. It was such an, so amazing because. Our family's story, I would say something like that, it was so connected. I didn't even know Nick's life stories before, uh, Felipe's, uh, Felipe's story and Lucas' stories. We got the things so straight. So that, 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 that was a feeling that we, like, I, 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 I said to Nick, I said, Nick, I don't know you. But then he, and then he said to me, Ronnie, we don't need 30 years time to know each other. That was so something so, and we, we got the things so, so clear that what was a time changer for my entire life was a time changer for my entire life all the feeling that we had all the thing and the, all the thing that i have now is that feeling that i'm uh that 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 that, that is something uh yeah so it was uh that's something i'm not gonna forget uh i couldn't if i tried <laughs> yeah yeah that was uh that was uh basically the perfect culmination of a week of that it was, uh, it was, um, it was different. So we're not, we're not running marathons. We're not lifting weights. We're not climbing mountains. We're not doing physically. Album. There we go. So, the emotional connection you have with these people uh, is amazing. So, everybody keeps saying, "Oh, it looks like you like Brazil." It's like I can't even. How do you even say it? Uh, I think I think the main words that I would describe by the last evening that I would say that the forgiveness brings you freedom. The forgiveness yeah. brings you freedom. And especially when uh, the, that came out in a deep, deep way when we were talking about our fathers. Our fathers. That was the main point of the, our conversation because our stars got together 
in such a way that it would be unbelievable. We would say we would, be, we would have the same father, we would have the same family, we would have the same structure, we would have the same uh, result of this. That, that, that's something that, 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 that makes all the senses. And then when, when Lucas said to me, Ronnie, it looks like he's my brother. And we were making jokes all the week. I said, he's a younger brother. Like yeah. that bad one, like well, bad guy. Like, for people like who don't what, know... Wood Woodpecker, like Harry, like... like for people who don't know Lucas, he's a dude from... He's got German descent, so he's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy who's a Brazilian who speaks Portuguese. I have a lot of questions for this guy. And he's way down... This guy who looks exactly like me, except... <laughs> Born and raised Brazilian and pure Portuguese. There's nothing German or American about him, but he looks, I mean, all sharp those blue nice eyes. blue eyes too. Like I have blue eyes. Lucas, he's got, oh, jeez, look at those blue eyes, you know, so it's amazing. Even Fernando Granado, it looks oh, like. Fernando, you know. Oh, my God, yeah, it's, it's, I had a lot of questions for no, Lucas. No. What are you doing here? No, <laughs> and why can you speak Portuguese? Uh, I think our fathers have been traveling away, yeah. so having some money somewhere it's, else. It's a, Uh, okay, yeah, all right, so that brings us to today, and we basically all recovered. I slept... Like, Everything packaged. <laughs> I slept like a bear that got shot. <laughs> I, I just, I laid in my bed, and I woke up the next day, didn't know where I was, who I was, and just laid in bed for probably an hour or two this morning, just like trying to digest. digest. Trying to trying to just be like, what in the hell just happened? That's it, Nick. I, if I would describe myself in this week... I would describe myself in an entire life preparation for this week, I would say. God, that's, that's not an understatement. It, it's the same for me. Everything I could muster, it seems like all that hard work. Um, I've only talked to other painters for two or three years. I've only been involved with the internet in this way for two years. Two years. I've been a painter for 25 years. I thought the rest of my life was going to be me painting by myself. And then my knee would break and everything would go away. Would go away. That's and it. I thought there's no camaraderie, there's no other people. All I have is me in this world. I Actually, have to figure everything me, out. Me and, and Nick, we had a very good surprises from our wives this week too. I got a, I got a message from my wife, but he got a previous message from his wife too. Yeah. We had a, have, can I say that? Please. Because uh, I can't say yeah, it. I won't right. get through yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm emotional. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> Even more than you do. So we got our wives. He has four kids. I do have three kids. I, I don't work very hard as do, but as no, he does. <laughs> but and he got a message from his wife this week because he has a, a weight on his shoulders uh, the same as me. I left them there. You left them there, right? And he got a he got a message from his wife and saying, "I'm so proud of you." He took a weight, like a tone. I wouldn't say a tone, but a, the whole land of peace of earth from his shoulders because. He said to me all the time that his wife said, no, you do whatever you want to do. That's it. No feeling, no much feeling about that. And then this week, he got a message from his wife saying that, I'm so proud of what you have done. It makes, uh, it breaks a barrier. When I tell you about forgiveness gives you freedom. That's what I'm talking about. I got that from my wife too. So I got so many and sometimes sayings about my wife. So I'm going to split it up with you. Because it, it doesn't make sense to me. Go to the hell, that very, <laughs> very deep way of hell. Because painters are crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. Leave to me. I'll, I'll, I'll get your mobile phone and throw that through the wall. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense to me. And this week, she just sent a message to me and said, Ronnie, I saw you in the live video. And you were you wonderful. You were wonderful. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to make part of your life. Wow. You have no idea what it means. Because my structure... We, we, we say here in Brazil, we build a house, right? And we have the structure below the house. That's the, the structure foundation. below the house, the foundation. And the foundation for myself, I say to it, I say to it, this is not the point, but for me it's the point, because I, this is my belief, this is my truth. Between God and my wife, this is my, how do you say, in the house structure? structure? Foundation. But this is, these are my foundation. And this foundation keeps me breathing to keep my to keep my dreams coming true through these situations like do you know what I mean? I hope that you get my feeling. And he got this this week. So all the things that he would say that this is right, this is the rate I I would say that this is okay, 
he said that that's the feeling that he had this week so you're going to have good conversation and a different way that you see your family through yeah. this even you, you 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 got you got a conversation you got to learn from us too that that's the oh, that's listen, speechless i feel that's speechless i feel like the worst human being on earth because it feels like all the all the benefit flowed one way this week it's like i'm gonna i'm gonna go back and everything's different now uh nick it's, everything's uh, different now and you, you you you've got business to solve nick You've got business to solve. Yeah, and and I am I am here not because I have solutions or not because I have found the perfect way to do it. Um, everything I have is a very I'm I'm new to all this in business, uh, yeah, painting maybe not so much. I feel like I, I'm a fairly well-rounded veteran with that, but we feel like this, this is just a consequence. Yeah, all this stuff is like <laughs> I'm not here saying, hey, I'm the best painter in the United States. I run the most successful business. Here's how you should do it. It was more like. Man, we're all in this together, and we feel like we got a. We feel like we there's a change happening now, and we feel like we're the ones that have to help this change. And I think that's it's just like we want this to be better. That's it. we want this to be better, and and it's good right now. It's it's good, but we have this constant yearning for better, and I'm glad we found other people like that. And so when people ask me, um, do you like Brazil? It's like. The only thing I can say, and, and I don't know if it gets across to people, is I've been a lot of places. That's it, yeah. The people are always good, right? I've never been a place and be like, oh, boy, the people there, mm -hmm. the food is always good. The difference is I would move my family here. I would live here. It's about trustness. Yeah. That I have a feeling like even if I don't understand the government, even if I don't understand the language, even if I don't understand the... the um, eccentricities of your culture <coughs> I trust the people and I know that just like how I trusted you and Philippe this week which is the hardest thing in the world for me to do because I like it you know I like it minute by minute straight, straight away yeah, <laughs> preparation yeah. preparation scientific and data <laughs> yes. and I, I love that and um, I know that if I just showed up here hat in hand with my family everything would be taken care of do, do you know not, what? not that you guys would do things for me but no worries do you know we what can I, all figure this yeah. out do you know what I feel uh Uh, I'm talking about responsibility now. I'm a person that who creates personality, personality to people, who creates opinion for people, right? Sometimes what we say be, becomes truth, yeah. right? And I, I feel that I'm kind of light for those who are in darkness. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a huge responsibility. And I'm talking about professionalism. But yeah. the professionalism means to me that my life itself It's, a, it's an experience for those, and those who have experience, it's an experience for me. Yep. It's an exchanging process for all this kind of thing that we're talking about. I'm going to see if we can do something really special. Steve Skodak is watching, and if, if Steve is willing, I'm going to see if we can't get a quick exchange between Absolutely. you and Steve. Do your you can ask Steve anything you want. Maybe Steve wants to ask you. Uh, we're running out of signal. We're running out of battery, so this will probably be the last thing. Okay. But That what I wanted to do, we focused so much on me this week, uh, which I always tried to get back to Absolutely. me asking you questions, which is very tough because everybody's <laughs> so curious and enthusiastic here. But <laughs> I'm curious about, I'm part of the Painting and Decorating Contractors of America, the PDCA. Steve is the director of that. He's the leader of our change, right? And he's actually doing things on the ground to create standards, to make things better. Maybe there's something you can ask of him. Maybe there's something he can ask of you. I feel there should be something. So we'll see Absolutely. if we can go uh, yeah, yeah. do a live with Steve here. <clears throat> what we can do. Because I would like, if, if we can't make this work, I still want to know. I, I would like you to tell all the painters in America something. Just something. What do we need to know about Brazilians? We know now that there's a lot of barriers you guys have. Your equipment costs magnitudes times more. So a Graco 390 sprayer costs seven, eight hundred bucks in the United States. What's it cost here? We were talking about at least at least five five times and more expensive. Five times more at expensive. At least, at least, at least. Five times more expensive. Um, employment law. If you pay a, a salary of a thousand dollars a month to one of your painters, what gets tacked on by the government every month? A double, hundred percent, one thousand dollars. If you pay somebody one thousand dollars in wages a month, the government tax on another double, another double, straight away to get that, straight okay. away. So I asked these painters around me. Why aren't you guys growing your businesses? Why is more than 50% of your entire market a painter and a helper? That's why. That's why. There are things standing in the way of the painters here that I take for granted. I can employ as many people as I want. That, that, that was the feeling that I had when you talk about apprenticeship program. 
I was, I was, I was trying to understand how could it be possible here in Brazil. All right, we'll try to get. Uh, yeah, and, and okay. sadly, you. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from. Uh, I think Steve might be trying to find some better connection here. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's just say uh, if we can't get Steve, the PDCA. You you know enough about them to know that we are a very large organization, uh -huh. some of the best paint business entrepreneurs in America, Canada, Mexico. Is there something we can do for you? Is there something, if there's something you're curious about, is there an ask? Is there something we can do for the Brazilian painters? That's a big roll in my hands now. That's it, you, you're representing all Brazilians and painters. I mean, <laughs> I, I can tell you about my story myself. Uh, Senai means a lot to me, it means everything the professionally, trade the trade school, right? It, be, it made me become a professional. I was, a, I, I thought I was a professional. And then I found Senai. You, you're going to get my point. Yeah. In, in Senai, I found the human being who I am. The person who I would love to, who, 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 I, would, who I would need to be with, right? Uh, How are people in Senai that they came from jail? People who have no jobs, people who is who expecting hope for them to become to bring their money to their families. All right. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How's it going, man? Oh my God. Uh, to say that it's going well is is a big understatement. This is. Uh, I think you understand that this is this is life changing for me, and I've I, I've never had a better time before. Well, I am glad to hear it. Yeah, we're we're pretty excited watching on our end to see, uh, one, how the trip went and just to see how, uh, what a great job they're doing it. Uh, one, hosting you and two, getting you and the rest of us very excited about what's going on in the industry. Absolutely. And, and the same excitement that we have and that your organization, the PDCA has, they have in droves here. And, and it is, uh, I wish we could transport, like we're, we're good at this. We're enthusiastic about it. We got a lot to learn from these guys. Yeah. Oh, the, the very first thing that I would tell you, you look younger. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's good. He's a big boss. Thanks. He's <laughs> things with a big boss. Yeah. I, I, I tell you, I tell you, uh, of, the of story course we have snow on the ground here. So <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Steve, uh, the story that we are about to, to write is that the main change, the thing that changed mainly in Senai was that when we realized that, that we, 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 must, we must have ourselves closer to our students, to our professionals, to know them from inside out. Because from once we know them from inside out, we start to, we, we start to, to understand yourself. You know, you, you know what you want. But, and then we, we, we think that professionalism is a secondary thing. It's, it's strange to hear about that. But when we know each other, when we know ourselves, Professionalism, from professionalism, just become a consequence of our work, of our hard work. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And when we got together, especially in my classes, I'm not talking about myself. I'm promoting this. But when we when we go to my classes, the very first thing I, I said that to to Nate, uh, I start a conversation to know each other, to know who they want, who they are, their ages, what they do, what they are doing in the classes, what their dreams, what their objectives. We get together at the very first time and said, "This is Ronnie. This is an industrial trainer from Senai. I'm not used to this. So you got you used to this because we must know each other." And I tell them my whole story, my kids, all everything about it. When we get the best professionals ever, I get I get results, practical results of this kind of of, of this kind of, of trainings that I got people like um, um, like those who made college on on accounting uh, and. Policemen, whatever they want, whoever they want, never even taught paintbrushes, and now they do professional things, just because they believe they believe that it would be different. It, it, it's all about your new own. It learning. is. It, it is a kind of yeah. stuff like that. I'm sorry if I don't get the right words. I keep missing words all the time. So <laughs> no, I, I. It it comes through. It comes through. You don't. You're. Uh, and I have to tell you, your English is much better than my Portuguese. Oh. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we certainly see a, a movement and a desire, and it appears to be worldwide, of uh, craftspeople starting to say, you know, it's really important to us to hone our craft, but above that, it's important for us to share the craft. You know, for, for 
centuries, there were guilds out there where they kept it close to the, the vest, you know? They didn't want to share their thoughts and their exactly. ideas. Please, that's a Brazilian. And then we find out <laughs> that the there's American. a gen we find out there's a generation out here who says, not only do we want to share it, but we want to challenge you to grow and be as good as we are. Because if we're going to compete with someone in the marketplace, we want to compete with someone who's good. Yeah. And we yeah. want to say, if we're going to lose a job to you in business, at least the craft is going to shine. People who have a, a coding job done, um, we don't want to be embarrassed by the results of it. What we want to do is we want to compete in the fair marketplace, but at the same time, Virtually every contractor I talk to is turning down work because they don't have enough qualified people to work on it. So, you know, that's certainly what led to our onboarding program that's coming out in uh, 2019. And uh, as we developed that program, we said, well, I bet this is something that we could do in Portuguese and just share with you guys as well. So we have a lot of programs we're developing right now um, that we have in mind for the Portuguese population and just giving it to the folks who are out there, because we also want your input. What are you seeing? What are you doing? If you have 100,000 people going through trade schools, my hunch is you'll have a whole lot to tell us about <laughs> what works and what doesn't work, you know, compared to our, I, I mean, the number of trade schools we have in America are diminishing. Yeah. And I think we're seeing a resurgence. We're starting to see more and more folks come back uh, to the trades because they're going $100,000 in debt for a four-year education at a traditional college and they hate working at a desk. Exactly. <laughs> so what, what are you guys seeing right now as really one of the biggest challenge that the Brazilian contractor has? Uh, actually, it's uh, saying about the, what, what, is the, what is the big barrier? What's the biggest challenge for the Brazilians that maybe you need to you guys? Who are yeah. the professional painters yeah. already? Yeah. We're talking about the, uh, the government taxes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Because... If you have, an, uh, a, for example, an apprenticeship program as, as Nix Lab does, uh, I was thinking about that, for example, if I would have to open a company, right? And right. have one employer only, right? For this employer, if I pay $1,000, I have to pay another $1,000 to get it to the government. For me, it's just unbelievable too much. impossible to do that. Right? Yeah. Uh, it, would, it would make it impossible for us, too, if, and, if we had to double the amount of payroll. And just we, we're talking about one employee, right? And if, when we right. get the jobs, we have to pay taxes too, right? It's two ways of taxes. And by the end of the year, we have, do you remember when I explained to you about the three times? Well, and then we have, we have the third uh, taxes amount. Uh, by the end of the year, we get the whole lot. For example, we make a hundred thousand dollars, so we have to make an accounting on a special app from the government, and we send it this data to the government, and they are they will calculate this and see how many children you have, wife and spend, spending about uh, health, health programs, dentists, whatever, and they calculate yeah. it. You, you, you can have the numbers before you send it, right? Mm -hmm. And depending on how much you spend on it, you have to pay a little more of taxes, <laughs> a little bit more taxes of the taxes of the taxes, right? <laughs> it's a lot of taxes. I would love to go buy taxes all the time. So, that, and so that's, the famous, that's the famous Brazil tax we hear about? That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's and, it. And, it's, and it's the main reason that a lot of things snapped into focus, Steve, because I know we've been trying to figure this out. We've been trying to figure out you have so many people here. You're so enthusiastic. Why the hell isn't everybody having this easy time of success or why, why isn't this yeah. kind of more easy? Yeah. And it, clearly when you get around these groups of the best painters in Brazil, they're all like one or two person shops and they're like, we're good. We're fine. And Absolutely. it's not because they don't desire to grow. It's because they don't really have the option. Option. That's to grow. That, that's the, I, I would say Fernanda. Fernanda was, it would be an, an exception, right? He knows about Fernanda. Fernanda Veronese. She's an exception. Yeah. She's yep. an exception. She has the, the employees, right? She pays everything. Okay. She, she, she has this, those procedures. And she would be the same as you. She would be next life in, in, in Brazil. No, she would be she, Gina Kors. She, 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 she has an apprenticeship program, too. She had, I, yeah. I don't get professional painters. Uh, uh, when I get them, they are dangerous. It's exactly, exactly the a way you do. So yeah. A lot of the same things, Nate. Decent yeah. human beings, that's what you want. Decent human, Start yeah. with decent, decent human beings. beings. a lot like the decent human being thing. And I, te <laughs> I tell you, Steve, uh, I would say our professionally, worldwide, I would say worldwide between American, right, continentally saying, are getting old. And our main challenge is to make these professionals that already exist and those professions that are, are rising, are growing up now, uh, to make them understand 
that the whole industry, even ourselves, are changing, and it's changing quickly. That's our huge challenge here in Brazil. So thank God we woke up earlier than it would be too late, yes. right? And I, I've, I've, yeah. I've been, I've been a, such a lucky person to be a bridge. I've been working for the last 18 years as a professional painter. Now I'm working in Senai. It's, it's the eighth biggest um, vocational industrial institution of the world. It's huge, absolutely huge. Yeah. So I've been yeah. a bridge between those two worlds, you know what I mean? So what, uh, Ronnie, if you could ask Steve for one thing, what would you ask him or the PDCA or American Painters for? What do you need from us? What do you see from the Brazilian painters? Uh, we, need your, we need your energy and enthusiasm is what we need. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to get a few of the people either. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's not difficult for me because I keep laughing. It's funny. It's funny because I got pursued. Pursued? Pursued? pursued. I got pursued. For some, it, 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 it's funny to say that, Nick. Uh, Nick and Steve. I, I, keep, I keep missing names all the time. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. my, my, my head just work, just work as, 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 as energy all the time, crazy. But uh, I was pursued in my profession for so many times because the way I am. And then somebody came to me, Steve, and said, Ronnie, absolutely never change the way you are because you are about to change something that I don't even know how to explain. And then this enthusiasm, I bring this to the class. And when I tell them about my story, about my family's story, it's something deep because sometimes you can you don't even want to look inside yourself right to tell right them right them. and all of the courses that i made i make i make not not just professional i make friends i have relationships with all of them absolutely all of them we're talking about yeah. 200 400 professional i don't know have no idea but all of them when they find me say ronnie hey my teacher my teacher I said, don't say my teacher we're friends we're friends <laughs> but they captured they captured yeah. the that i would like them to have and this is what makes the difference. I have a, I have a data, a, a scientific data. I'm learning Love from Nick. Data. I'm learning from Nick. A scientific data that a, a company made an experiment, a huge company. When they went to find professionals, uh, they have like very different ways to find them. Not by the professionalist skills. They didn't find skills. They, did, they just want to find uh, this enthusiasm, right? Enthusiasm. Yeah. They, yeah. Didn't want, they didn't know that. And then they found, for example, 15 people on this experiment. And their goal would be like to grow about 5% a month. They grew about 15, and then the second month, 25, and then the, the other month, 45%. Just because of the enthusiasm of the people. Absolutely. Because yeah. It's infectious, for sure. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then the professionalism and the skills became a consequence. This is something that's a breaking barrier. I don't know if you, if you, not because you don't understand, but the feeling that I have about this is something I don't even know how to explain that, you see. Well, we, we certainly have a resurgence in the U.S. for that enthusiasm of craft. And, you know, Nick is certainly our face out in the marketplace of what the craftsman can look like. And, um, you know, for, for us developing a path that the parents can see, for their kids when they're at that 16, 17 years old, if we're able to show them a path where their, their kids coming into a program where they're gonna earn income while they're being trained, they're gonna come out with a trade, while their friends are all in taking out loans for $30,000 a year, their kid's gonna be making 40,000 a year um, <laughs> just while they're training. So they won't come out with debt and they're gonna have a life that is, uh, we always say, if, if you like being uh, indoors when it's cold and rainy, painting's your business for sure. Uh, as long as you can handle the heights and the heat, you're good. <laughs> but outside of that, you're going to be indoors. And um, there aren't a lot of trades that can boast that. Um, you know, I, I know yesterday when it was snowing outside and I see tradespeople showing up to do some things outside, I <laughs> think painting looks pretty good right about now, doesn't it? So. Um, but we are definitely seeing that enthusiasm um, here in, in the States and North America. Um, and, you know, we're refocusing our organization because our organization has been much like we talked about where the focus was on um, the focus was on the members, the few people that were actually in house as opposed to us looking, how can we serve the industry as a whole? We have 310,000 paint contractors in the U.S. alone. And so when you talk about that and the average shop's 1.5 people, 
you say there's an awful lot of people out there who need help who may not necessarily uh, want to engage in a membership organization because they're busy trying to make their business profitable and, and hire people. So we have really focused our organization on providing um, standardized and trade best practice uh, to the industry that's, that's going to be free of charge to them. So they can adopt our onboarding process with the video and the, and the learning management system to track all the credentials. Uh, we're also working on a, a federal apprenticeship program um, that would allow us to have uh, some of our contractors be able to bid on jobs they've historically not been able to, but also to, to raise the prevailing wage in the industry for us to start seeing um, painters as a whole have an avenue to move up through the ranks uh, in the industry. And we can't begin to tell people how many jobs there are, not just in painting, but being a paint owner, working for um, someone like Souvenel or someone mm -hmm. um, like with BASF or any of the other. There are so many ancillary jobs that come with this that the career path is endless when you enter the coatings field, for sure. So we're excited to be doing those things. And we certainly want, um, you know, as, as our relationship, Ronnie, as we start going back and forth talking about what you guys were doing, I certainly believe that there's a good opportunity for us all to work together. Absolutely. Um, to, to make, you know, to just raise the bar world, worldwide. And uh, I think we had a great start with uh, Nick being there this week and for you guys doing such a great job at hosting him and introducing him to all the wonderful things that uh, yes. Brazil has to offer. We get the best of both sides and make a, an excellence of this. And Nick, Nick asked me one thing a few days ago, Ronnie, would, would we be able to set up a nice uh, structure in Chicago? I said, we have structures in Africa. Why not? Said, yeah. Well, yeah, I, said, I, was, yeah. I was so impressed by the, the nanotechnology trailers and these young professors teaching young people in a happy way. I thought, I know we have good trade schools in the U.S. I don't want to say that, oh, they're all garbage and they don't do this. Right, but right. Right now, Steve, try to send your kid to a, a trade school to learn painting. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, but what Sinai has done, I thought, my God, we just have to get a, a branch of Sinai somewhere here in the U.S. to see if it can be replicated. It's just such a wonderful place. So, but Steve, was there was there any last thing you want to tell all the Brazilian painters while we're here? Come see us. We'd love to have you. Thanks for hosting <laughs> our dear friend Nick and uh, and Ronnie. We'd love to see you at Expo in March. Um, and certainly I'd be, I'd be willing to host you at that. If you're willing to make the trip, we would love to have you and uh, allow you to be able to see what we do here. And also for you to bring some of that Brazilian enthusiasm and tell uh, folks in the U S what's going on there in Brazil. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to talk about the expo after this. Uh, I got to tell you, uh, I think one of the main reasons that for me to be there when, 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 when even uh, Nick asked me to be there at the very first time I said, I would share my, I would I would share my story, my life story. Yeah. And yeah. It, it would change the people's mind, the way of view. It would, it would be the very first thing that I would like to do. And and then we talk about when we talk about Sanai, I have links now and people Everson, for example, he will be the main bridge the director, for that. Yeah. And we to get you straight to the our main man from Sanai Sao Paulo and then to start yeah. a conversation about something that I think we have no idea as to you. Uh, what we are talking about. You, you, you are telling yeah. a thousand more than mine. Than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're too but, kind. But, 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 uh, even more than that. <laughs> well, we were talking about a dream. Uh, yesterday, uh, Fernando said one thing, said, well, Ronnie, we are not painting walls. We are painting dreams. Uh, that's, what, that's the feeling that would leave now. If you, if, you, if you admit me, I would just say to the Brazilian people, you said, right, there is Brazilian people watching, yeah. okay? Pessoal, é, o Steve Skoda é o presidente da, do PDSA, que é o sindicato dos, dos, dos pintores que eles têm lá nos Estados Unidos. Ele está ele tá maravilhado com tudo, sim, conheço, Vanessa, com tudo o que ele viu aqui. Essa energia que a gente tem, esse desejo de mudança, é completamente diferente de tudo que eles têm lá. Então, eles querem levar isso para os Estados Unidos. E eles acham que isso pode ser possível de uma forma ou de outra. Né? talvez até pelo próprio Senai, que é uma instituição que vai formar pessoas. Né? Então, é, nós estamos conseguindo alcançar o nosso objetivo, que é levar esse profissionalismo para aqueles que não têm. That's it. Couldn't have said it better. That's exactly what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
He says, he says, I, I say three words and I'm running, say 300. I just like to visualize the things. <laughs> That's awesome. Steve, it's an honor to have you on with us here. Hey, it's my it's pleasure. Been... You guys keep up the good work. It's very exciting to see what's Thank going you. on we've, in Brazil. We've been and... talking about you and your organization all week. Uh, we've been talking about Sinai. And right. all we keep doing, uh, every time that I leave another painter or an institution here, the same feeling is shared by everybody. This can't be it. If this stops here, this is a complete failure. Yes. No, it cannot now, be. A, now things yeah. have to happen all the time. Yeah, that's it. Well, yeah. yeah. That's it, Nick. Uh, Steve, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank friend. you so much, guys. Take care. Keep up the good work. I'll Say wait. hi to your family, Steve. I will. <laughs> so that's it, Nick. Enough talking, right? Wow. You and I are going to sit in silence the rest of the day. Philip must be crazy with us. Philip must be crazy with us. <laughs> and enjoy peace and calm. Mission accomplished. Part one. Stage one. Stage one. Stage one. So uh, you will probably see Ronnie in the United States in the future. If you see this guy, understand what he represents. Uh, we're hoping we can get more Brazilian painters in the United States, not because we want to pillage Brazil of their painters, but because I, I want to give the opportunity for you guys to feel what I felt this week Absolutely. as the cultural exchange. And <laughs> I understand so much more about myself and my business and you guys because of this. And what do you say? <laughs> I, we should stop talking. Just, it's good. It's the best. Yeah. This is insane. Uh, there is a question from Rodrigo Evangelista. Yes. I think it is important. Oh, Rodrigo, no, na verdade é o seguinte. É, com a vinda do Nick para cá, é, o PDCA, que é o sindicato de pintores que eles têm lá, que faz muitos... How long is, how long is, is PDCA in America? Uh, oh, how old? I mean, it could be 100 years, could be 80 years. I mean, it, it's been there. It's been... At least it, 80 it's years. It's very traditional. Uh -huh. Very traditional. And Steve can comment again if he's still watching, but yeah. it's been there forever. Uh -huh. Uh, a gente está falando de uma, de, uma, de uma instituição, de um sindicato, assim podemos dizer, que tem pelo menos 80 anos, viu, Rodrigo? Tá? Então, assim, eles estão evoluindo a todo momento e a parceria que eles querem fazer é levar um, uh, como eu posso dizer, o processo de ensino-aprendizagem para lá, porque eles não têm escolas, tá? Então, a gente está falando de escolas, né? É, ele, ele, ele quer levar os processos de ensino-aprendizagem com, esse, com, esse, com, esse, com, com o caminho que o brasileiro tem para poder fazer as coisas, que aí, por exemplo, envolveria, não eu, não, é, talvez outra coisa, mais o Senai, né, porque aí envolve coisas gigantescas, nós estamos falando de milhões, bilhões, sei lá, você está entendendo? Então, é, são coisas completamente diferentes, é, talvez até da nossa ar arcada, né, mas é, é, o, o, o foco principal agora lá é realmente levar tudo que ele trouxe daqui para lá, certo? E aí, a partir daí, começar é, alguma conversa sobre os caminhos necessários e possíveis para poder realmente começar um projeto diferente nos Estados Unidos sobre é, formação profissional em pintura, né? que é o que a gente está tentando fazer aqui também e que a gente ainda não tem completamente concretizado. Né? That's it. That's it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> ok, this has been us all week. Oh, so, thank you everybody. Muito obrigado. Thank you very much. Uh, Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Good afternoon. Yeah. And that's it for us, everybody. Okay. So that's thank you. you. Uh, thank you to the PDCA, uh, Souvenir, Philippe. Gente, uh, obrigado por tudo. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, Philippe from Souvenir did a perfect job. Gadep, thank, Gadep. You for, thank you for being the genesis of all this. Graco, the people at Graco. Go look for my pictures of the people at Graco in Brazil. It's amazing. They have a mountain of work to do yeah. here. They are evangelists for yeah, the industry, for technology, bringing technology to painters. Thank you to them. And Sinai, you are a, a lighthouse. You're a beacon for the rest of the world. Pessoal, obrigado por tudo, do fundo do coração. Se esse momento aconteceu, porque um dia eu conheci o Nick através do Ivan, através do Juliano, através do grupo que era pintor, depois se transformou em grupo Gadep. Muito obrigado pelo pessoal da Graco, pelo pessoal da Souvenir, pelo pessoal especialmente do Sinai, que é onde eu trabalho. Obrigado, professor Everson, Daniel, yes. Marcelo, Ediane, All the todos aqueles que, que confiaram no meu trabalho, no nosso trabalho. Isso daqui aconteceu por todos vocês. E essa é a grande proposta disso daqui, é que realmente isso daqui não pare aqui. Que isso seja um divisor de águas. Muito obrigado do fundo do coração. Ó, beijo no coração de vocês. Ó, lindo. This is not the last time this is going to happen. Stage one. Stage one. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of the weekend. And I am now going to travel... 
15 hours back to the United States and try to recover, try to digest this, and try to make some changes personally and professionally because of this. So, look for decent human beings. Procurem por seres humanos decentes. I love that. I love that. We should get that in writing, and I should put that in my shop. That That's is, it. That is my goal in life. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you to Brazil. That's it, Nick. Muito obrigado. Yeah, all right. Goodbye. That's it. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau.